The life and sad ending of Hal Ketchum. A country singer is known for his succinct, often poignant songwriting style. Hal Ketchum emerged at the dawn of the 1990s with an engaging folk-driven sound that helped his Curb Records debut, past the point of rescue, earn gold status. Memorable hits like Small Town Saturday Night and Hearts Are Gonna Roll secured his place in mainstream country music and secured him a membership to the Grand Ole Opry in 1994. Although his popularity waned during the subsequent decade, Ketchum continued to produce quality albums like 2001's Lucky Man and 2008's Father Time. Battling various health issues throughout his career, Ketchum managed one more studio album, 2014's I Am the Troubadour before early onset dementia caused him to retire in 2019. He died the following year from complications of the disease. Ketchum was born in Greenwich, New York. At the age of 15, he began performing in clubs as a drummer with a rhythm and blues trio. In 1981, Ketchum moved to Austin, Texas, where he began to visit Green Hall, a small dance hall near his home. This influenced him to try his hand at singing and songwriting, and by 1985 he was playing at small Texas clubs. Ketchum was a finalist in the Kerrville Folk Festival New Folk Singer-Songwriter Contest in 1985 and was named one of six winners in 1986. In 1986, Ketchum recorded 11 of his self-penned songs under his full name Hal Michael Ketchum. This album, Threadbare Alibis, was released in 1988 on the Watermelon Records label. Ketchum then moved to Nashville, Tennessee and signed a record deal with Curb Records. In 1991, Ketchum released his Curb debut album Past the Point of Rescue. Four singles were released from the album. Small Town Saturday Night was first, achieving a peak of number two on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. After it came Ketchum's own composition I Know Where Love Lives, which charted at number 13. Also peaking at number two was the title track, Written by Irish musician Mick Hanley and originally a hit single in Ireland for Mary Black in 1988. The last single from the album was a rendition of the Vogue's Five O'Clock World, which Ketchum took into the top 20 of hot country songs in 1992. Alan Reynolds, a producer best known for his work with Crystal Gale, Garth Brooks, and Kathy Matea, produced the album with Jim Rooney. Among the musicians contributing to the album were Matea, Gary Burr, and Richard Bennett, as well as Bruce Boughton, Chris Lusinger, and Milton Sledge of Brooks studio band The G-Men. Alana Nash of Entertainment Weekly rated the album A, stating that literate and tuneful, past the point of rescue balances poetic love songs with a squint-eyed look at teenage rebellion, romance, and psychological intrigue all delivered with a tenor that throbs with passion and conviction. Past the Point of Rescue was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America for U.S. shipments of 500,000 copies. He released the album Sure Love in 1992. The album's title track charted at number three on Hot Country Songs, followed by Hearts Are Gonna Roll also at number two and Mama Knows the Highway at number eight while the last single Someplace Far Away was less successful on the charts. In 1994, Ketchum released the album Every Little Word. Five singles were issued from the album. Ketchum wrote the first two singles, Fall in Love Again and That's What I Get for Losing You, with former NRBQ member Al Anderson. These peaked at numbers 20 and 22 on Hot Country Songs in 1994, respectively. After it came Ketchum's last top 10 hit Stay Forever, which he wrote with Benmont Tench. The title track and its B-side, Trail of Tears, both fell short of the top 40. Ketchum was also inducted as the 71st member of the Grand Ole Opry in 1994. Two years later came a greatest hits package titled The Hits. This album included the non-charting single Hang in Their Superman. Ketchum did not appear on the charts again until 1998, when he reached number 36 with a cover of Todd Rundgren's I Saw the Light, from his next album, also titled I Saw the Light. Awaiting Redemption, 
followed in 1999 without a charting single. He covered If I Never Knew You with Shelby Lynn for the Best of Country Sing the Best of Disney. In 2001, Ketchum released Lucky Man. This album included only one charting single in the number 40 She Is. King of Love followed in 2004 with only the number 60 My Love Will Not Change to its credit. One More Midnight, released only in the United Kingdom, produced a number 47 country hit in the United States with Just This Side of Heaven, although the album never was released in the United States. His most recent United States releases are Father Time in 2008, and I Am the Troubadour in 2014. In total, Ketchum had 15 top 10 singles and sold 5 million albums. After he moved to Texas in 2010, he played in theaters and spaces including the Birchmere and Eddie's Attic. He played his last show at Green Hall. Ketchum appeared in the 1988 film Heartbreak Hotel. Ketchum also made a cameo appearance as a bank robber in the 1994 film Maverick. Ron Wynn, reviewing past the point of rescue for all music, wrote that Ketchum writes simple, sometimes moving songs about relationships and or life's dilemmas, and communicates them in an attractive, unadorned vocal package and said that his delivery, as well as the arrangements and sensibility, lean toward easy listening pop and light folk. Also reviewing the same album, Mike Curtin of The Post Star described Ketchum as having a plaintive tenor voice with comparisons to Roy Orbison and Lyle Lovett. In June 1998, Ketchum was diagnosed with a neurological disorder called acute transverse myelitis, an ailment of the spinal column, which left Ketchum without the use of the left side of his body. This forced him to relearn basic tasks, including how to walk and play the guitar. Ketchum was also a painter and his work has been displayed in Santa Fe, New Mexico's Peña Gallery, where he had an opening in 2002. He was also a master carpenter and enjoyed building toys. On April 14, 2019, Ketchum's wife, Andrea, announced on his Facebook page that early onset senile dementia including Alzheimer's disease had progressed to the point that he could no longer perform. Ketchum died at his home in Fisher, Texas, due to complications of dementia, on November 23, 2020, at the age of 67.